um, at least for me, I saw the Halloween Kills trailer and I absolutely loved mm. it. Um, the first frame itself is so good and you, it just gets you right into it. And I just loved the whole mm. trailer. Um, I've never seen any Halloween movie before, but I do know about the character. What? <laughs> I'm just so you knew about right that. Now. Come on. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought you. I thought the only one you had seen is in the 2018 one. No, I said I'm going to watch that one because I just want to watch this one. But you have you haven't seen any other past nope. ones. Oh man, you're just you're a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Sean calling you out, man. Yeah, I mean, I should have watched oh it gosh. because this. Uh, he's such a you know iconic character, and I do see him in mm -hmm. everything like parodies and spoofs animation he's mm -hmm. always there and you know i know the character but i have never seen the movies um but i i kept hearing about the 2018 movie that that was pretty good and i was meaning to check that out but <laughs> I, I just didn't um but now <laughs> this trailer has me very excited and you know i i loved mm -hmm. it and i think this is a very good um a template for movies to um, how to get the attention of the general audience because I just basically was never interested to check this out but now I am just by the first trailer and that's that's something you know hmm. that's a big feat yeah it is because that that first trailer is the opportunity to make a first impression on a movie and if you nail it then people are gonna be drawn to it and if you don't it's probably gonna turn you off like for example if you're the suicide squad and you have a penis joke in your first <laughs> trailer it's not gonna bode well for you with most people yeah. so uh yeah, definitely first or, impressions or, are important. Or the part where they say that he killed 27 children. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay. okay. Um, don't know how I feel about that, but all right. The idea of a weasel killing 27 children, that's a... Ugh. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but but I, I actually got the chance to watch the trailer right before this, actually, um, for Halloween Kills. And I, growing up, the only time I saw Halloween films was at like, Halloween parties with friends. Um, so I've seen, I've, I've seen the first one and I've seen the second one. There was another one where, um, where this little girl was being hunted out by Michael Myers in like an attic. I can't remember which one that was. It might've been like the fourth or fifth one or something. Um, but I've seen a couple of them, but the other ones I've gotten a brief synopsis on found Flick's YouTube channel. I don't know oh if yeah. You guys have heard of him. Found Flick's I love like, that yeah, ending explained. Yeah. yeah. It's, that's where I get the majority of my horror movie knowledge is from that as well as dead meat with, uh, James A. Denise. You know, they, they talk about the stories and synopsis of all the horror mm -hmm. movies. So, like, if I were to have a conversation with someone with horror films, like, they would never guess that majority of the horror films they're talking about, I haven't actually seen. I've just seen videos <laughs> about them. But, like, I know a decent amount enough about them. But I agree this trailer was, was pretty dang good. And from what I understand from the 2018 Halloween, this movie picks up right where the last one left off. Nice. With, yeah. Of course, the house is burning down. And, uh, uh, oh, gosh, what's her, what's her freaking name? Uh, Lori? Is that her Lawrence name? Road. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where she's like riding away and everything. Like, it, it seems very interesting. It seems like it's going to be another intense uh, pitting of uh, strengths against each other with Laurie and, and Michael. Although that's what, that's kind of what the 2018 Halloween was kind of supposed to be. But like, they're just kind of continuing that forward. Like, oh, that was a great showdown. Let's give you more of that great showdown. You guys like that so much. Let's do more of that, which can be argued that it's a good move. Is Laurie uh, played by Tommy e. Jones? The one in the hospital? Tommy Lee Jones. Sorry, who 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 is in this? <laughs> <laughs> I missed the name. Tommy Lee Jones is two faced in Batman. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Lee Jamie Curtis. Lee that's Curtis. What it is. Jamie Lee that's Curtis. Right. I'm Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> it's 2021. Yeah. They can't do that. <laughs> I can't wait to clip that. I'm pulling up for it <laughs> yeah jamie lee curtis that's that's yes, that's, that's who it is what about. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, now i'm just imagining like uh what's his name major chip hazard from small soldiers going up against michael myers <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. you just see tommy lee jones he's just not impressed he just... <laughs> <laughs> it's never impressed with anything no. <laughs> he pulls up the uh the forget me thing from uh men in black <laughs> It's like, you yeah, don't he... want me down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, he starts doing what he did in Batman Forever. He starts <laughs> trying to 
do exactly what Jim Carrey is doing. Tommy Lee Jones goes around and starts killing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, I love that. Yeah. And then <laughs> Oh man, that was good. Are we? <laughs> yeah, so I, I I what I loved about No Country for Old Men was uh, <laughs> That is another movie that I have Halloween, to see. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably learn what he looks like first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Right? Okay. Well, right, yeah. <laughs> Halloween kills. Halloween kills. Yeah. Well, I I love I love this trailer. I thought it was absolutely <laughs> insane. It's absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, I'm a big Michael Myers fan. I love the slasher movies like Halloween, Michael Myers, Scream, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, Chainsaw Massacre. I just like those mm-hmm. types of ones. I don't really like horror, like Conjuring, you know, those kind of things. I I appreciate them, but I just don't. You know, I think these hit movies get your adrenaline pumping and they are pretty scary. Especially the guy going around in a mask who seems supernatural and unbeaten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't beat him whatsoever. He never dies. But yeah, so like I've enjoyed all the Halloween movies. Last Halloween Halloween I went back and I rewatched them all, except for the Rob Zombie ones. I just never got a chance, but I watched the main kind of mm-hmm. ones with Jamie Lee Curtis. And then they kind of rebooted it then with Halloween twenty. And I think it's like they had a, a house and like webcams, I think it was the age of kind of, you know, like Big Brother, those kind of celebrity shows or non-celebrity shows mm-hmm. where you just put people into a house and you watch them. But in this house was Michael Myers. That's what that one was. It wasn't great. So the franchise has gone through kind of a, like a loads of bumps because I would argue mm-hmm. the last great Halloween movie, except for the 2018 one, was the original, was the very first one. Yeah. That was really good. And they kept making it and making it. And it was okay. It was good. It was watchable. But it just wasn't as good as the first. And 2018's one, was kind of a continuation of the very first movie. They kind of put aside everything everything else, all the other movies. And I thought 2018 was a fine movie. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it. But judging by this trailer, it's like the 2018 one never existed or the original one never existed, but existed because Michael Myers just looks like he has just said, it's enough. I'm, an, I'm just going to kill everybody. And he looks, he looks so scary in this trailer. He really, really does. Mm. He takes down all those firemen. He's going after everyone. The brutal kills. Just looks like Michael Myers times ten. He he just looks so. He's scary. like that woman tried to burn me in a house. That's it. I'm, I, yeah. I, I was I was playing softball before. Yeah. Now I'm gonna kill all you fools. I'm not <laughs> holding them back. All right. <laughs> no, no shit. No shit. He's just going straight <laughs> for everybody. So yeah, I think it was a great trailer. Maybe it revealed too much, which we'll get to in a second. But. I like how it's going to be Laurie Strode's granddaughter and her daughter is going to take on Michael Myers as well. I'm sure she'll fight him. The town mm-hmm. seems to be coming together to take him on as well. Uh, I, forgot, I don't remember the name, but the original little boy from the movie, the first one, he's back. The original little, little girl is back as well. The same actors, which is pretty cool. And then mm-hmm. we also have the nurse who was in the first one. She was in a car and Michael Myers tried to kill her. She survived her course. She's back for this one. So the Halloween universe is is pretty cool. It's like an Avengers type movie where everybody's going to be in the one movie. So that's pretty cool. I think Paul yeah. Rudd was actually supposed to come back and play his character. He played an older version of the little boy in like Halloween four or Halloween five, and that film wasn't great either. But he was supposed to come back, but he was shooting Ghostbusters Afterlife at the same time, so he couldn't, which was a shame. I would have liked yeah. to see him come back. But anyways, the original cast is all all coming back to take on Michael Myers. And I thought it was pretty good. It's coming out this Halloween. Of course, it was delayed. It was supposed to come out last Halloween, COVID and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. this movie will come out in October. And then one year later, Halloween ends comes out. So this franchise is coming to an end in 2022 for now. I don't know yeah. how long well, that will last. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how <laughs> yeah. long that lasts. <laughs> exactly. And as someone said today, I think it's the 50th anniversary of the original Halloween in 2028. So I'm sure they have something planned for that. They'll definitely have a movie out for 2020. 20- it's the ghost of Michael Myers coming back to yeah. kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll do something. But we, we ran a poll, of course, on our Twitter page. I did it for Chucky. Put out. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but the question we posed our followers was, do you think the latest Halloween kills trailer showed us too much? A lot of kills, jump scares, and plot was revealed. The three options were, yes, too much spoilers. The second option was, nope. 
third option was yes or no. <laughs> more simple than nope is nope. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I know. Who just the simplicity of the answer, just nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So was, the second option was nope, and the third option was yes, but more interested for the film now. So Dawson, which one do you think won out of these three? Uh, I might have to go with yes, well, too much, but it, it, it piqued my interest. Um, because like you mentioned in the trailer, they talk about how the, the town comes together and basically are hunting down Michael Myers. I feel like that might've been something that would have been cool to see in the film itself rather than in the trailer. Cause like, that's something that like you don't see a lot of necessarily in the Halloween films. Mostly it's just like a couple of people, maybe some people, in the police force, uh, the, the psychologist that he has, I believe is what, what is, what he is. Um, but usually it's pretty limited, right? And everybody else just kind of, you know, kill count, uh, people and characters. But now you have an entire town going after this guy, which I think is a very intriguing idea. But I, I do think they should have saved that for it to be something that people experience in the film because it's something that could give a sense of camaraderie and community. Like, oh, these people came together. They realized something messed up is going on and they're all terrified. They're coming together to defend themselves. I, I would have liked to see that in the theater, but I, I still yeah. think it's it's interesting and it's piqued my interest. Yeah, see which one do you think you want, or which one won? I picked nope because I've never seen anything to judge <laughs> what they could have spoiled. So. Plus, nope is just funnier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I can, I can reveal. Well, personally, I just say I thought. Um, it w I of course I know the winner of the poll, but I thought it was too much spoilers. Yes, mm. um, I would have liked to have seen a lot of those kills in the theaters. And I think mm. what would be like. Five, six months away from Halloween, or not five or six months, but nearly, nearly that, four or five months away from Halloween, or less. Is it four? Just think. July, August, September, about yeah. four months. <laughs> this isn't the most intelligent of streams. We don't know who Tommy <laughs> Jones is, and we don't know what month we're in. <laughs> Michael Myers is doing yeah, just stuff to our head. <laughs> Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're so scared, but um, I just think it's a it's a it's a, it's a lot to show, especially when the movie's not like it's not next month, it's not in two months, it's it's, it's Halloween. Mm -hmm. But um, the winner of the poll is actually a tie between <laughs> nope and yes, but more interested now. Yes, thirty five percent. You lost, again, John. I did lose. <laughs> I, I, I could have been. I could have been um, corrupt. I could have picked the winner in my my pre answer. But I think it's no. But are you, you more interested you after watching the trailer or not? Oh yeah. And you picked the wrong choice, but man. I, <laughs> yes, but I. <laughs> but I still think it's spoiled too much. You done messed up, eh, Avron? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dawson was yeah, right the I most. Then. Do, um, <laughs> yeah, Dawson's two for two. Um, got got some uh, fans uh, uh, <laughs> Frank was having a good laugh at KC's Tommy Lee Jones. Um, <laughs> we call it a joke. We call it a joke. <laughs> I hope yeah, it was so. intentional. And uh, yeah, Reese goes. Imagine the last thing you see is a giant in a James T. Kirk cosplay with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> because many people for years were saying that the Halloween mask is molded off um, William Shatner. It is. Uh, Captain Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's what the theories were for, for years. I don't think anyone ever confirmed that. But it does look like William Shatner. I'm, I'm pretty yeah, certain. I, I've seen special features on some of them. I'm pretty certain that they did simply have a William Shatner mask. Really? And they like they fitted it to make it look like, like a serial killer. So like, basically, <laughs> William Shatner is, you know, Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, nice. uh, that's hilarious. And... Um, Anthony has a few questions, but they're not Halloween related. We'll get to them in a little bit. But yeah, that's our thoughts on Halloween kills. Yeah. And um, the trailer killed it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. And the poster was also pretty good. I thought that the cinematography of this mm. trailer, um, it looked pretty amazing to me. Like the color choices and um, the scale of the movie and, you know, the, the close ups of his mask. Uh, that was also pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like you never see his eyes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. That shot where he comes out of the house with the axe. Yes. That's scary. And then he just turns yeah. it over. Yeah. Ooh. That's that's intimidating. Yeah. Oh, and so I looked it up. It said uh I looked at the mask thing. It said it had been rumored for decades that the mask the killer Michael Myers wore in the Halloween films was in fact based on Shatner's face, not just his face, but specifically a Captain Kirk death mask created for Star Trek. As it turns out, the anecdote is very true. Oh. Oh, oh. Nice. 
Yeah. But, uh, I wonder how he felt about that. So it's not only a William Shatner mask, it's a Captain Kirk mask that is painted white. Yeah, that's, 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 look, one of the most iconic TV characters of all time, and he's a serial killer too, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the fame went to his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then one Halloween. Oh, man, it all went downhill. <laughs> Star Trek was canceled. He was mad. Yeah. <laughs> he set his phaser from stun to kill. 